either got team martyrs or, or he's a dumbass. He's, he's either got team martyrs or, or he's a dumbass. Welcome to Corvette Mafia News Blog's Vet Chat. I'm your host, Asher Conrad. Today's episode of Vet Chat is sponsored in part by Disturbed Customs. Get your go-fast parts and accessories for all makes and models, performance engines, and more at Disturbed Customs in Sarasota, Florida. Or you can visit them on the web at DisturbedCustoms.com. There's an old saying in advertising. There's no such thing as bad publicity. The editors at Hot Rod Magazine are certainly hoping this to be true. In mid-July, the folks there decided to make a video on a project they are doing on a C4 Corvette. They literally took a reciprocating saw and other tools to a C4 Corvette and hacked it up pretty good. Needless to say, many of the comments on YouTube in response to the video were not complimentary. Further fanning the video, the flames on the video, uh, one of the largest well-known Corvette sites on the internet, Corvette Forum, the video was posted there. This also caused quite an uproar. Here to talk to us today about that Corvette video is Rob Kinnan, one of the editors for Hot Rod Magazine. Rob, how you doing? I'm good, Asher. How are you? I'm very good. Uh, point blank question. You feeling a little like uh, General Custer at Little Bighorn? <laughs> oh, no. I mean, you know, we knew that was going to generate some controversy. Um, and, you know, the Internet is typical for, you know, kind of overreacting in a lot of situations. And, and I can understand uh, some of the comments, but they're, they, have, they don't have the whole story yet, I guess, is our standpoint. So they will have the whole story and maybe we'll feel less attacked. <laughs> well, uh, point blank, you know, uh, did you guys just say, you know, it's a hot summer day. Let's, let's go sit in the office here for a minute and let's see what we can do to piss off the Corvette world and let's figure <laughs> out how to go about doing it. No, actually what we did was twice in the past, first in 1987 and then in 1997, we did the story, well, the first story was called Caddy Hack and the second one was Pony Hack, which was a ripoff of the original. And we basically took a great big four-door huge car to Palmdale, the L.A. County Raceway drag strip, ran it, and then just started taking weight off to show the effects of removing weight on how much, you know, and how that can make your car quicker. So the effects of weight on performance. And we were thinking about, you know, interesting stuff. Those two stories still generate tons of mail, you know, 23 and 13 years later. You know, we still get people saying, yeah, those were awesome. Those are great stories. The difference is we started with a great big 70 Cadillac and then a, you know, 74 Pontiac four-door that nobody really cared about. So we always had this idea of we need to do that and show the effect of removing weight on handling, you know, weight versus performance around corners. And we thought about a number of different vehicles, you know, an S10, Chevy S10 truck, and and it came down to basically a Corvette because the C4 Corvette you can get for dirt cheap and, you know, it's a pretty good platform as far as a, like a track car to start with. And so, you know, over the course of three years trying to brainstorm this and put it together, we thought, okay, well, we'll take this Corvette and we'll strip it completely down and do caddy hack, but for handling. And then when that's done, we'll, you know, cage it and turn it into a full-on race car that looks unlike any other race car out there. So the first thing we did was get the car and take it to Irwindale and set up their figure eight. We built a little chicane in the middle of it, got a pro driver, and we started cutting it apart. What that video doesn't show, that's just a little teaser video, was we waited after every time, we timed the laps. I mean, it was, I won't go so far as to say scientific, but it was pretty close. And it, it opened our eyes a lot to, you know, what we were trying to show. Now, uh, did you and your staff envision the video would be received as it, as it has been? We knew when we posted it on the Corvette forum that it was going to get a response. And in hindsight, we have two more videos coming out. Like I said, that was like a one-minute teaser that didn't really tell the story. It was just meant to kind of drum up some interest, which <laughs> it certainly did. Um, but there is another, like a three-minute video coming out soon, probably within a couple of weeks, that shows more detail, and then a longer one, you know, five or six minutes for to coincide with the magazine being published. Um, and that'll be the November issue, actually, which will be out like mid-September. So around that time on HotRod.com, there'll be a, about a five or six-minute video 
that shows everything we did. Right. And so hopefully the Corvette guys will see that and go, oh, okay, they didn't just needlessly destroy an 85 Corvette because we're actually going to use it and race it and hopefully, you know, humiliate some much faster cars with what looks like a total pile. Right. Now, uh, obviously, w were you prepared for the negative backlash that accompanied the uh, posting of this video? We were ready for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we, we knew it would, you know, the idea to post it on the Corvette forum was, well, okay, this will get everybody's attention for sure. We didn't know just how vehement some <laughs> some of those guys are. I mean, some of the, the comments on there, you know, David Freiberger's uh, editorial column in the November issue, he pulled off the best and most vehement and <laughs> some of the funniest quotes out there off all these different message boards. So, yeah, we knew it would generate some controversy. We didn't know just how viral it would go. It's got like 70,000 views if you add up all the the videos that we posted. Right. Well, all what, the do places think, uh, been linked. what do you think uh, brings about this uh, or has, has elicited this uh, response? I mean, were you aware of some of the, the tight-knit uh, uh, feelings of the community itself, of the Corvette community? Um, we, we knew that it was going to generate some response, like I said, but probably not quite as violent as what we saw because we know the Corvette community, you know, there's, there's four or five genres of cars that have really rabid supporters and the Corvette's one of them. And so I thought, okay, well, you know, we're just going to tease them a little bit and fire them up. And we were surprised by the volume, the sheer volume. Oh, you definitely fired them up. No doubt about that. <laughs> Yeah, and some of the comments were just so over the top, moronic. You know, some of them were fairly well done, but I mean, <laughs> there's there was just some over the top, stupid comments that that you'll read in Fred Rivers' column in the November issue. Right, if you I, haven't I, already I did, seen them on the yes, site. Yes, I saw a lot of them on the site. Uh, uh, it's it's surprising how the internet uh, certainly uh, allows people to not be as uh, uh, unbashful about their their comments. Yeah, I mean, the, the one I'm looking at here, one of the most egregious is from uh, Turtletron on Corvette forums. It says, this is no worse than the Middle Eastern evils burning American flags. What Hot Rod Magazine has done is treason on the American way of life. If we had someone else besides Obama bin Laden in, bin Laden in office, these men would be jailed for what they have done. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's a little over the top, don't you think? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure many would, would agree with that. Um, but uh, let me, uh, if I may, though, let me uh, uh, play a, a audio excerpt that you did from a, uh, from one of your blogs, your video blogs, and then uh, we can talk about that for just a moment. Here's this uh, okay. from you. Hi, I'm Rob Canada. It's July 19th. This is my video blog for the week. Uh, I'm going to be Last week, we did a really cool thing on Monday that we did a video of, and it's on our website, and it's getting thousands and thousands of hits, and Corvette guys hate us because we posted it on their forum. Now, uh, were you stroking the fires there a little bit there, Rob? No, that was, that actually, we shot that right before all this started hitting. Um, I think, I think it had just hit the their forum like maybe a couple hours before we shot that video. And so it hadn't quite gone over the top yet. But uh, we knew it was going to generate some controversy. And we knew because there wasn't a lot of detail in that little teaser video that, yeah, the Corvette guys were going to be fired up. But, yeah, we, we did that just reading the first few message board posts. Okay. Uh, now, did you, uh, did you hear back from uh, anybody in, in charge of uh, Corvette Forum you know, about this post? Because a lot of things came back, too, that either your advertiser, and that's why they're shutting down all the – uh, threads that were started or that you know there were some people were calling you guys trolls this is your first post um, you know do you think maybe uh, first off did they, did you hear back from from anybody at Corvette forum uh, I did not and I looked in the hot rod email inbox the general hot rod one and uh, there was nothing there I mean your email to me last week I guess it was was the first time I heard from anybody other than just reading message boards no advertisers have called you know, they haven't informed us that we're losing subscriptions like these guys all claim we are. Yeah, well, that's a big claim for everybody. Oh, I'm, I'm do doing away with my subscription. I'm not re-upping. Re <laughs> yeah, we've had one official commitment on that from our subscription department. So, you know, that that's a very, very common message board reaction to something when someone gets upset. But, you know, ultimately, if subscription to Hot Rod's 10 bucks a year, 
and you're not going to, I mean, you're not going to see this in any other magazine. You know, people claim we ripped off Sport Compact Car from five years ago. Well, no, <laughs> we did it 15 years before they did. So, you know, we try to be entertaining and also, you know, show the effects of things, you know, horsepower from a blower install or an intake manifold comparison and, you know, you take a good handling car like a Corvette and you make it better. Right. You know, that's hot riding. That's what it's all about. It's just we use their, you know, dream car, their car of choice, and that irritated them. You know, the, I guarantee you if you go to the Mustang websites, they're eating it up and they're loving it. Right. right. And if we did that to a 5-liter Mustang, they would be burning us in effigy and the Corvette guys would be laughing. Right. right. I promise you that would happen. So. In that case, we can't win until they actually see the story and see what we do to the car. Right. Now they're gonna, they're going to like what we do to the car, but I think the majority of them will. Right. But do you, do you think maybe that that uh, your your first splash, you know, two Corvette form could have maybe uh, uh, I don't know, primed them a little bit that this was coming? I mean, you know, the, that was really your first post on there, and and, and you know, uh, a lot of feedback came back that you were kind of uh, rubbing their noses in it. Do you do you agree with that assessment? In hindsight, yeah, maybe we should have put up, you know, we didn't put up a longer video that actually shows maybe not the whole story, but it shows that, hey, we're not just cutting this up, you know, being a bunch of hoog and rednecks and cutting this car up just for the sake of having fun. You know, we're actually doing it for a purpose and a purpose that I think they'll appreciate eventually. Right. You know, and what a lot of those guys don't understand 